So I'm still doing some testing on Adrena or AKA Chantico, and she is really interesting. There's a lot of things to think about with her mechanically, just because of the fact that she actually takes away all her own AP. And that is one of the many gimmicks that she has. So we're gonna jump into what she's doing and how you can essentially utilize her to your advantage, considering that she is the freebie Esper we're going to be receiving from this next upcoming event. So starting with her S1, uh, we have Flame Spitter. So it attacks one enemy two times, damage per hit is 10% attack plus 2% max HP. And then she gains one stack of red chili afterwards. Now uh, with that red chili, um, you're going to be getting 10% attack and 10% crit damage per stack. And that will stack up to three stacks and that's 30% attack. 30% more crit damage, right? Uh, now, on top of that, you have her passive, which is called Covering Fire. So, Adrena's AP is minus 99% at the start of her teammate's turn. And that's a really important thing to note, right? And I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, she performs assist attacks with her basic ability uh, after her teammates cast basic abilities. So, when Red Chili stacks reach two, she performs a pursuit attack on all enemies. Damage is 15% attack plus 3% max HP. And the pursuit attack has a 80% chance of inflicting stun for one turn uh and that's a very very freaking high stun chance right and that's on aoe which is kind of nice uh so then you also have when red chili stacks reach three and rena removes red chili and all debuffs while gaining an extra turn right so she is actually going to be i would think a monster when it comes to like controlling to a degree um just because of the fact if you can get her properly going she pops off with her abilities like seriously like it is really really nice if you can get her to work uh but we'll talk about that like i said when i show you uh guys how she works right uh so then with her s3 which is the warmest welcome it attacks all enemies one time damage is 15 percent of attack plus four percent max hp and it inflicts defense down for one turn the fewer the targets the higher the damage and then she also grants all allies excluding herself 10 percent ap right now, this is not including like what her rezzles are going to be doing. Uh, she also has a 24% captain lead, so that could be good and you know something at some point. Maybe for somebody that's a little bit earlier game doesn't have a really you know solid attack lead, but you should you know you know Liling Sa uh, Kong right. Uh, but as far as her rezzles go, uh, the uh, R2 is going to be giving when, uh, when attacking while not on, on turn damage plus 12%, which she's going to be doing anyway. Um, then a uh, at R4, you're going to have an 18% chance to ignore resist when attacking and then at r6 uh she gets a new effect for covering fire which reduces the target's mats hp capacity when a pursuit attack deals damage and the reduction is 80 percent damage now this is something i still have to kind of see when i get her to r6 so i'll probably have another video uh once i get her maxed out just to kind of show her at a full in-game build you know all that jazz right so that's what you know i'm kind of working with right now now due to the fact that this unit is going to be fairly built different uh, in comparison to some other Esfers. I have her on a war set, um, but I'm also using crit damage percent, attack percent, and an HP bonus uh, boot. Now, I actually swapped this between, which I was using a attack percent just to kind of see if there was any variances uh, in her damage. Um, didn't really, you know, and really couldn't tell at this point just because I don't think that I really have the best of gear on this account. Um, so it seemed like it was very minute. Um, but again, you are going to be getting much higher scaling on the value of attack. So you you could honestly emphasize HP if you want to make her a little bit more tankier. Uh, but for this sake, uh, we're going to go with the attack piece because keep in mind, we don't need to run any speed on her. So fine tuning her, she doesn't really actually need any speed at all. Uh, you just want to essentially make sure she's alive. That's really that, right? That simple. So let's go ahead and get into showcasing her. Uh, now, as far as where we'll be showcasing her, we're just going to be in the VR battlegrounds. Uh, I feel like the content that she's going to be good at, I I tried using her in Calamity and I was like, yo, she actually might be pretty good there um, just because of the fact that she's able to assist and follow up so much. Um, but again, uh, as far as the team comp we're using, we're using Leon and Clara for support. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this is because the thing about uh, Clara is Clara actually has a passive ability. So she uses her S3 and then she's only using her S1, which is considered a basic attack. Uh, and then same thing with Valeria. Um, Valeria uses her S3 and then she only 
only uses her S1, which is considered a basic attack. Uh, and then Leon herself um, honestly doesn't really do much outside of, you know, being in Dream Bubble and maybe S2ing occasionally. And then it's an S1, right? So she's not really doing too much. Um, so again, you're not really too concerned with that. But as long as you're getting those basic attacks, you should be good, right? Let's get into the run. Now, there's a couple of different things that I want to mention uh, with this character is that you want to make sure you have someone that's able to like cleanse. Uh, that's actually going to be quite helpful, I would say, uh, just for the simple fact that, you know, if she gets stunned um, up until I think a certain number of turns, uh, she won't actually be able to get her turn. And I've like literally watched her just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's like really bad. Right. Um, so, yeah, having some sort of cleanse is kind of nice uh, just to make sure that she's able to get her turn at some point because she still uses her S3. So even though she gets that 99% uh, percent AP pushback, she still gets her turn for an S3 push, right? Uh, so that's something that you want to keep in mind because otherwise that would be kind of dumb. She would only be proccing her uh, stacks at that point, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use the S3. A four man defense break so that obviously would be opening up damage um obviously we didn't take advantage of that but you get the you get the general just there so she defense breaks she can then stun uh as she's getting these stacks and that's going to essentially make it to where she's able to also control so she can do damage she can open up for more damage and then she's able to control at the same time so as far as her utility goes she actually has some pretty solid utility right um which i think honestly considering that we are able to get her R6, um, which is going to be quite nice considering that that's free. Um, she's going to have her value. She absolutely is. So I think a couple of different things to keep in mind with her. Like, again, I am testing her. Um, so I would have to definitely get a build that has a little bit more accuracy. I probably would actually run her on like a stun set just because she's able to get so many potential follow up hits. Um, and that would actually allow her to be able to CC or control a little bit better if you want to emphasize that a little bit more. Now, like I said, the other dilemma is running either HP or attack. Uh, you do get some things that's going to help you with as far as your your scaling um you know you, you get crit damage and you also get attack scaling so you could technically go for the hp to make her tankier right um or you could go for the attack to try to scale her damage a little bit more so that's kind of like one of those things there that would be based off of the comp that you're using but outside of that, the chick pops off, right? You're getting stuns, you're getting defense breaks, you're literally getting uh, follow-up attacks. And that's why I said with the follow-up attacks, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're two hits. So her on stun set, yeah, one enemy two times, that's actually not bad on stun, right? So you could essentially be getting the stun off of the full stack and stun off of the... Uh, the s1 and then also you could stun off of the uh, extra 20 percent chance on the, the s3 so that would be a lot of potential sun uh cc control uh capability with her that's going to be essentially that guys i mean like i said i'm still doing some things with chantico i have to really test her more so on my my official account uh which will be tomorrow so i'll probably have another video kind of talking about her um because i think her potential is going to be actually kind of nice um I think just she's going to be a little bit of a weirder unit to build in comparison to some other units that we have. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, as long as you're respecting the basic attacks uh, and you're just making sure that she's like, you know, not getting stunned, um, she should be good, honestly. So that's going to be that. Let me know what you guys think. Everyone stay blessed and yeah, stay charged up.